Access intern Cindy Condon tackled this month's tech tip working with text in Photoshop. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create your own customized lower third using Photoshop. First, we're going to open up Adobe Photoshop. We're going to go up to File, New, and then we're going to name our project Lower 3. Then we're going to go to Preset and change it to NTSC BB720 by 480. And then we're going to go to, down to back, Background custom, uh, Contents and then click Transparent, click OK. Our project window will open. Okay, the tool that we're going to be using is in the, the tool window right here. And it's called, it's located right here, the Rectangular Marquee Tool. And we're going to be using that to create our lower third. We're going to drag it down. I like to go outside the blue lines, which are our safe lines. I'm going to create a shape. Going outside of them just a little bit. And then to make it customized, we're going to fill in this area using the gradient tool, which is located in the tool window right here. And then we're going to click up here. The gradient editor window pops up. Um, you can create your own gradient colors, schemes. Maybe you have a show color, a color for your show. I'm just gonna use one of the preset ones. So I'm grabbing this one right here at the end, clicking OK, and then start from here, drag the mouse through it, and then we filled in our selected area. We're going to go up to select deselect and you notice the, the black dotted lines went away. So we're done creating the background where our text will be laying on top. We're going to go to file again, save, and I'm just going to click save. We're going to quit Photoshop since we have our project saved. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up Final Cut Express. And then our sequence opens up. And in order to bring in the lower third that we just created, we're going to go under File, Import, and then we're going to find the one that we named lower three. Click choose and lower three will be highlighted in our RIN. Okay, we're going to drag the file that we just created in Photoshop onto our timeline. It's going to show up at the beginning. We got to render our project so we can see what it looks like with the video. Let's play what we have so far. Now, it looks like it's up a little too high and I know it, and it's lasting a little too long. So what we can do is, we're gonna stop it, stop our video, shorten it up, drag the playhead back, play it, and then we're gonna wanna add some text. We're going to create our own text to put on top of our gradient. And I'm sure you all know how to do that, so we're going to go to text. Click text again. And we're going to go up to controls. And we're just, for this time, we're just going to type in all things access.
Okay, and then after we do that, we're going back to the video, and then we'll see. It'll appear in our window right here. Now to see what the text looks like on a gradient, we're gonna click that and drag it above the gradient. And it's a little high, so we're gonna have to bring that down. Okay. Let's play it and see how it looks. Okay, our text is on too long. So, shorten. When you do text in your lower third, your lower third is here and your text is here, you're gonna wanna make sure they're the same length. And then we're just going to add dissolve to it right there. It'll look a little better. And at the end. You can pick any kind of transitions you want. Let's see how it looks. looks pretty good. Well, that's your tech tip.